and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we're gonna try and clear this base of Team Flare dudes, guys, whatever. Uh, but first, we're gonna go to the Pokemon Center, which you'd think there'd be one right here, but God. I'm risking it, you guys. I'm going to go into the city this way. Nope, I don't need you, Cab. We're gonna figure it out. They cannot, like, I want the angle to look over there. I don't see it. Autumnal Avenue, that's where we came from. Remember that. You guys won't be able to tell me, but you'll know when I mess up. Oh, gosh. Is that where? Mm? No. Haircut? That's fun. This is... Why is it so far away? Is that it? Please be it. Yay! We did it. Oh my gosh. The city. Yay. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do we need to buy anything? Hi. 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 Oh! Ooh! Bulldoze. Yes. Uh, for sure. And Swords Dance, for sure. I don't know if we need these other things. They're ex very expensive. Be like half our money. Okay. Do you know, I watch a bunch of Pokemon videos online, and people are always concerned about their money, and I'm always just like, I've got like infinite money, whatever. Seems like it's a problem for them. But I don't know if other, I'm not buying enough stuff. Look at all these cool clothes I bought. I've got ripped jeans. These people don't want you to see. Hey, what's up? Okay, so first of all, let's look at our new TMs. Okay, before we even look at the new TMs, I was thinking, okay, we fought Lysander last time. <clears throat> Excuse me. And his Gyarados seemed like something of a problem, even for Mighty Fatterhorn. So what I'm thinking is that I would give Thunderbolt back to Xylia. Because she should be able, to, specifically for the Gyarados, um, she should be able to handle his, you know, water type attacks, no problem. I think she even has water absorb. Uh, but then also, we don't. I don't feel like we really need Brine. Like it's not as good as Surf. It only does the double damage if they're below half. So you'd need a situation where Surf was going to take three attacks, and 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 then. Or like four attacks even. I don't know. It just... I haven't used it very much. It seems very situational. And Thunderbolt seems less situational. And it's too late. I already did it. So... -da -da -da. Awesome. We're the best. Alright, but let's see. We also got... Okay, who can learn Bulldoze? Because man, this was a good attack when we had... Was it Power 6? The accuracy one. Okay. Um, hmm. This was a good attack back when we had Juge. Man, do I... We don't have any, like, ground-type attacks. Um, oh, Chloe here. That's interesting. Although, so I don't... I like I like Xylia's attack uh, pool right now. <sighs> With, like, Thunderbolt, Body Slam, Ice Beam, Surf. That's all pretty good. It's good coverage. Um, but honest, let's see. Hmm. If we did... I think we could do Fatterhorn. What does he have? Let's let me make sure. I think did we get belly drum in the last episode? Yes. Okay, so the thing about belly drum is that one, we already have power up punch, so the option is already there to get an improved attack stat. And two, when you're nuzz locking, the idea of halving your own HP, even when you've got as much HP as Fatterhorn, seems crazy. So, like, again, situational and dangerous, but obviously the results would be bananas uh i think i'm gonna mm, i think i'm just gonna get rid of it though i think bulldoze seems better it also lowers their speed yeah sorry there we go now the question is should we also give bulldoze to Xerxen? maybe because we've got okay home claws is just accuracy and attack so that's 
that can definitely just be replaced by swords dance because like the accuracy just doesn't come into play that often the question is toxic spikes so the reason i like toxic spikes is because of the potential uh synergy with ashworth but on the other hand we haven't really done that at all and excuse me yawning it's 6 30 recording early <laughs> um hmm like most computer opponents don't have multiple things but we could still poison with poison jab potentially um and i don't know it's hard to lay down two layers uh, i think i don't think we're gonna miss it it's gone it's too late Bye bye, Toxic Spikes, Bulldoze, and then definitely we're gonna Sword Stance. Yeah, what up? As if Xerxen wasn't already insane. There she goes, Home Claws. See ya. Mm hmm. Ta da! Sword Stance. Well, that's a pretty insane moveset, if you ask me. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting to find those TMs, but we did. Here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Autumnal Avenue. Hey, how about you keep sprinting? Because this is a freaking big city. Now we went through one of these. Oh no. Do we go too far? Okay, there it was. I was like, no, does it does it not do now? Now? This one? Right? Oh, it doesn't it's not gonna tell me? Uh I help I'm lost. Magenta Plaza, but I think it was over here. Oh, is this it? Did we? Oh, did I just navigate the city from a different angle? Oh, oh, did you see that lady? Did you see that? You thought you could hide your dumb cafe? Not from me. Not from me. So anyway, let's talk. Now, before we get into all this crazy pants battling, let's maybe let's let's talk about the team real quick. Um, my goodness. My goodness, where to begin other than freaking at the rise of the Xerxen, the, 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 the mighty hugger. Okay, so quickly and rapidly, Xerxen has just won the approval of pretty much everyone on the team in a big way. Um, especially, okay, specifically like Chloe or Fatterhorn. Like we've been in like a vacuum of like leadership for a while. Everyone's just sort of just, just grinding it out out there. But... You would think, in terms of how long they've been around, Chloeo and or Fatterhorn would be like the obvious options. And yet, both of like Chloeo, very much more like the natural bodyguard, and very much the same with Fatterhorn. Like he's more of the the he's more comfortable in the protector role, and she very much is just like that uh, that that angry force that wants to um, protect something else rather than. Um, Le not not leadership material as it were even though she's been around now sometimes when you're not trying to be the leader that's when you're best suited for it but to that end that's still pretty much Xerxen like Xerxen not trying to be just like everyone's looking at her all of a sudden like hey you're crushing it all of a sudden you're the same level as Chloeo Tarth of course old friends with Chloeo and she has no idea what's going on she's just like I'm here I'm a Pidgeot now what's up y'all and uh so whatever Chloeo says Tarth is in on she's like I remember you everyone else looks different okay that's my that's my Tarth voice BT dubs Ashworth um likes the synergy with the poison of course I just go over to toxic spikes whatever still still there's like that type share there and Xylia you know she's just big she loves the hugs she's such a hug huggable Pokemon and Xerxes is such a good hugger despite all of her claws um yeah so uh maybe 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 not firm firmly settled as a as a leader or anything but I'm just uh I'm just telling you what I've observed that the that everyone's just sort of looking that way Everyone's just like, man, this is Erkson. She's She knows what's up. And uh, so that's why she's going to lead us into battle today. Hey, what's up? You'll be captivated by the warp panel and transported away. All right. I probably am going to, like, touch all of the buttons, so be prepared. This isn't much of a guess. Oh, look at this. A Swalot. Hey there, Swalot. Oh, Oh, hey, guess what move I just learned that's going to be really effective against you. I'm already happy about it. It's called bulldoze kaboom 
Yeah. Oh, didn't do as much as I would have hoped, but it didn't do nothing. Oh, no, not stockpile. You wouldn't dare. Oh. Will this be only slightly as effective? Yeah, you're still going to go down in three turns there, hombre. Oh, you went for it again. Maybe it'll take four now. We'll see. Maybe I should have Swords Dance. I should have used both new moves. Anyway, Bulldoze. Go. Crush this thing. Wreck it. Oh, it's amazing. Is there nothing Xerxen cannot do? No foe? We cannot topple? I don't know. We're going to find out. That guy did exactly zero damage to us, so... <laughs> well done, Xerxen. We're off to a good start. <laughs> Truly, though, you must touch the warp patch. Because look, back here. Back here. Everywhere. Okay, cool. So, see ya. Ooh, she looks like... An admin type member. Or more fancy than a regular grunt. Hi! Ahaha! Why, if it isn't the fascinating little trainer from the Kalos power plant, so we meet again just as I said we would. That was a weird voice. <clears throat> Aliana! Alright, if you say so. Oh, hi, Aliana. This is fantastic. Uh, this is my giant hugging scorpion named Xerxen. Perhaps you'd like to say hello. <gasps> Intimidate? How dare thee! We could avoid this intimidate, you know. I can get around that now we're only a plus one instead of plus two, but still, we've covered the distance. Embargo? What? I don't even know what that's supposed to do. Xerxen can't use items. So, does that mean my poison barb isn't as effective? Or that, like, I couldn't eat a berry? Let's find out. Uh-huh. Oh, and you're poisoned. See, we can still poison stuff. Taunt. Bring it, bro. You, If you want me to hit you with stuff, that's totally fine with me. I'll stop setting up my swords dance on you. Which I probably would have done, because, frankly, uh, you're gonna die to poison now. But anyway. Poison jab. Hi, see ya. Bye. Boom. Dead ha. Drudegar. Oh, oh, hi. What's up? Big guy. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. Um... Uh, hmm, interesting. What a cool looking fight. Let's go Night Slash, see what that does. Sasha! Man, that did quite a bit! Uh, okay, okay. I was like, I don't know how much Dragon Claw is gonna do. That could be bad, but this should do it. Maybe we'll even get the crit. Hi, see ya. Oh, yeah! Drudagon fainted. <coughs> 48. <gasps> Xerxen's on fire. Aliana. Yeah. See ya. Sorry. Boy, I cannot tell you how much I like Drapion as a Pokemon. This is like, I've never used one, and this is why I love the does a lot, because who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Uh, all right, bag. First of all, though, speaking of that, let's go ahead and heal up our mighty Squarp. Uh, 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 uh. You know what they say, guys. Left is right. <clears throat> All right, this appears to have been an option thus far. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hi, you want to fight? I have a. You can. You you want to die too? Let's go. I'm all over it, man. Team Flare Grunt. <clears throat> Not sure about you guys as bases. Uh, layout of mini bosses here so i don't remember how this works if like you go down the elevator here mm, i think you go to that other town before you get the um xerneas not to be confused with xerxenus here mm -hmm. you might have gone up one stage but i went up two and now i'm going to bulldoze you rhymes ah mm -hmm. okay Oh, are you going to heal? That's hilarious. S Stockpile has got to be the stupidest gimmick in all of Pokemon. <laughs> like, if you get to keep the special defense... If you get to keep the defense raises, it'd be such a fun thing. Like, oh, not only my bolstering it, but now I've got this bonus effect. But instead, you just get hit for a couple turns, 
and in return you get to do a crappy attack or a crappy recover like just use an attack or recover Ugh. Lipod boy if Xerxen had a fighting move, I, t I tell thee, uh, poison jab. Poison punch that thing in its dumb cat face. Oh, it's so dead. <laughs> Is that no one? I shouldn't say that. I should not say things like that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good times. Good times at the, uh, the OK Corral here. Oh no, it's these two bozos. I don't understand the point of these characters. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Real tall guy? Uh-huh. Oh, thank you for the useless items I can't use. I'll just go sell them for money, I guess, so I can buy more ripped jeans. We came here at a certain professor's request to stop seeing Flair. I assume your goal is the same. Don't do anything reckless. All right, bye. I'm sad I came in here and wasted my time talking to you guys. You're the worst. <laughs> like, they just show up and they're like, we made your Pokedex bigger. And you're like, why did... I didn't even know it wasn't the right size. Why isn't it just full from the beginning? That would make sense, too. Oh, we can't go that way. Here? Oh. Um, that one will send us back directly here. So it looks like they have, like, the illusion of choice here. <laughs> That guy's like, hey, what's up, dude? I'll tell you what's up. Wait. We, oh, I thought there was a door here. Huzzah! Item? Ooh, gosh, it's another revive. All right, that's, that's good. Can I sleep? Oh! <laughs> I'll just take a quick nap inside this enemy base, as one does. That was fine. You guys have been here a while. Oh! Well, thank you. I agree. I look dressed the same as you. Oh my, you took off Team Flair's awesome suit? You didn't want to get all wrinkled in bed, eh? Oh. Is that what you think I look like this? Do you guys have regular clothes too, outside of your killer suits? Meaning, I think you wear them to kill, not that you look killer in them. Anyway. Fashionable people could battle too. I assume you'll just say that you think I'm so fashionable. And that's why you said that. And for no other reason. Boy. When they have multiple Pokemon, the idea of swords dancing is quite is quite fun. It's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure we got this. Mm-hmm. Slash. Good luck with that. And this time we didn't even get uh <coughs> intimidated. Poison jab! Ba boom! Mighty enough. Mm hmm. Oh, yours, my Nana, doesn't have intimidate. That's interesting. Ba boom! Oh, one shot, one kill. We are wrecking this whole place. Get out. Yeah. Mm hmm. They got nothing on me. They got nothing on me. And Xerxen. My gosh. <laughs> She's like, come on, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, now, oh, now you saw me? I'm going to send you like, I can't, I can, I can see you, but unless you're right here, I can't chat right there, right there. Oh, Houndoom. <gasps> I mean, I could take this thing too. Right? I mean, can we just bull... <laughs> bull... This is too good. Uh, you have two Pokemon, though. I'm gonna Swords Dance and assume you don't have something insane like Flare Blitz or Fire Blast. Beat up! Oh. That was great. Good move, dude. Bulldoze, though. I'm going to introduce you to one of my cool moves. It's called I Just Learned It Two Seconds Ago. And I'm already just... Yeah. Toxicroak? Oh, I think we can just bulldoze you too, right? 
Is your poison? Poison fighting? Yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry if you're like, please use other Pokemon, but like, I don't know. <laughs> Crunch! Oh boy. Let's see, is this better than Night Slash? 80. Power 80, accuracy 100. Power 70. Rise in critical hits. Hmm. What a decision. What a decision. I would think, oh uh, man. It's like, do you want, do you do the consistent more damage or do you go for the risky extra damage? I think we should probably go for crunch because it can lower the defense also. So you can still do more damage. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go Crunch. I didn't think Xerxen could get even more dangerous, but... Especially now that we have Swords Dance, I mean... There you go. <clears throat> Xerxen's so good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Which way? Well, you know what they say. Down is right. Oh boy, did we choose wrong? Oh no, I think we did. Ah, butts. Uh, so here. And then. All right, you guys know what they say. Right is right. Whee! Wow, this was fun. Whew, I am dizzy just watching you, dude. Like, why do they land you here? What can, what do they think you can do? Why don't they just send you through again? I, I don't get it. I don't, get, oh, hi. Wow, you came all this way? I, I suppose I'd better cheer. For, what? For me? I'm not on Team Flare, but you can cheer for me all you want. Manectra. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I do have this attack called Bulldoze. And I can Swords Dance on you. I'm thinking probably pretty easy. Yeah. Game is the foot. Oh, you have Bite? I have this move called Crunch. Bulldoze. Boom. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. It's a Scrafty. Oh, you stupid thing. Oh, gosh, you got... Man. Why are Scrafty so good? Dark fighting. Gosh, if we if we had any fighting... Oh, we, all we have is power-up punch, which we can't really use against this particular combo because... Uh, Fatterhorn is weak to fighting himself. Poison jab! Oh! Even... The mighty Scrafty. Just who was I cheering for? I thought you were cheering for me. It didn't make sense because you were saying Team Flare, but you were like, oh, it's you. Cheer. So, yeah. All right. I think this is uh, mini boss time, I think. Should we heal? I mean, not that we have much healing to do. You can never be too careful in these situations, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, okay, so... I, that's all we have to do. <laughs> no one's hurt. Oh yeah, here we go. Mini bosses. What's up? Who wants some? <laughs> huh? 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 Ah, mm, I've seen this kid somewhere before, so who is he? I have no idea, but obviously he's not in Team Flare. That was not obvious to as many people out there as you would have thought, you know. I think it's pretty obvious, but you'd be surprised about your little goons out there. They do not know what's up. 
Team Bat. Team Celosia? Manectric! Hey, we just fought one of these. Now, the difference is yours is three levels higher, but you still have two Pokemon, so I'm going to employ the exact same strategy, which is to Swords Dance and, yeah, Bulldoze. That's my thought. Thunder Wave! Oh, boy. Okay, that's not the worst opening move you could have done. I will give you that. Um, let's do Full Heal. I don't need any annoying... Yeah. A thunderbolt. Okay, as long as this doesn't... Whoo! Okay, hold on. Let's see. Do we have a problem here? I think we do. Because... Let's see. That's 128. One th oh, man. That did over half. Yeah. Yeah. So if we don't kill it with Bulldoze. Huh. Do we have... Hold on. Okay, well, we might have to switch. We should have just gone for the bulldoze out of the gate. Just, well, ah, this is so, like, annoying. Because, like, if we don't... If we don't kill it, it's going to kill us with Thunderbolt. So we can't have that. So we're going to go to Fatterhorn here. <laughs> yeah. All right, someone else is battling. You know what? It's probably good. Give someone else a chance to do some damage here. Yeah. Thunder wave. Oh, see, we might have been okay. Really determined to have us paralyzed. Really determined not to be paralyzed. Julio, let's see how you handle the thunderbolt. If we get paralyzed again, I'm going to be very frustrated. Oh, yeah, much better. That's why you're here, Fatterhorn. Take those special attacks. Kaboom. Okay, so... My thought is we can still actually sort of set up on this thing. We could we could just bulldoze it. But we could also power up punch it. And get like a little bit stronger bulldoze going. Let's see how much bulldoze does. Oh, flamethrower. That's random. If you burn me. Okay. Huh. Surprising. Flamethrower there. <clears throat> so the burn we got the speed drop. The question is, are we faster? I want to try and, we may as well power up punch anyway, because it's going to take multiple attacks too. That's real fun. More than one more bulldoze. But now it'll just take that anyway, and we got the attack rise, so there's that. Question is, do we have any more, like, paralysis heals? Oh, we do. Okay. Only the one, though. Hmm. Stupid thunder wave. Flamethrower. I swear if we get burnt. Nice. If anything, we're gaining health. And now we bulldoze. Ugh. Now we'll be paralyzed. Watch. You just watch. So predictable. And yet we gained health, so I guess that's good. I don't think there's much this thing can do to us at this point, other than hope we get paralyzed over and over. But no, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Oh no, that's hilarious. Well, we can bulldoze. That's still good. Um, I'd feel better if we had, like... Well, we have the full restore. So, let's just see how the bulldoze does. <coughs> Acupressure, what does that do? Special defense rose sharply. 
doesn't help it very much, and it slowed it down. But we're paralyzed, so that doesn't really matter. Hmm. Is it worth just body slamming, you think? Is that going to be that much stronger? We should try and... I feel like we should try and slow it down. More. Oh! What is this? Oh, no. Defense rose sharply. Uh-oh. Okay. Does that just, like, choose a random stat? Well, I think we've gotten lucky that it hasn't done... Um, I think we're going to go for the body slam now. Well, I don't know. We still did pretty good damage, even after they raised their defense. Ah, but if we can paralyze it, that would be... Oh, boy. So we got lucky they didn't get one of the attacks boosted. Oh, but those... Oh, we got the paralysis, though. Okay, so that's good. And we're going to heal... And now we're both paralyzed, and they've got two speed drops. I don't know if that'll even make us faster yet, but... Let's go for the bulldoze. That seemed like it did. Oh, we're still slower. Wow. Boom! Yeah! Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Whew! There you go, Fatterhorn! You get a big hug. Do I get to heal before the next fight? That'd be great. Oh, what a brew. Look at Porcelosia. I guess I don't. Which means I'm going to have like half health Zerks in here to start. Lipard. Okay, so there's at least that. Because I'll probably just use Fake Out. If I had to guess. And we are absolutely going to take a hot second to heal up the Zerxinator. Because, man, that last fight, a little too close for comfort. Now, what do you got? Told you. Fake out for zero damage. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Anyway, we're also going to Swords Dance and set up. We're going to try the same thing. A little easier to set up on this Lipar than it is the Manectric, I guess. Oh, oh. I'm done setting up. Bring it. Bring it on. Poison Jab. Let's do it. Bam! Oh, a bi sharp. Uh, can we bulldoze this thing? Let's find out. Oh, yes! <laughs> I was like, is steel weak to ground? I think so. I think so. So good. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, sorry if you were hoping to see anyone besides Xerxes in battle today. I had a blast fighting with her. What's this? Who would have thought a child like you could beat us both? You and your Pokemon were utterly in sync in that battle, and I know why. You'll hear for answers, aren't you? I suppose we're at your mercy. I will tell you what I know, at least. We've been using the electricity we stole from the power plant to get everything prepared for the activating the ultimate weapon. But it's not like that. <laughs> But it's not like that's all we need to use it. Are you following me? We need energy absorbed from Pokemon to power the device. Yes, it's the stones on Route 10 that will steal the energy for us and power the ultimate weapon. In reality, those stones that line Route 10 are the graves of Pokemon. When the ultimate weapon was used to end that horrible war over 3,000 years ago, it stole the lives of all those Pokemon. The lives were the price of peace then, and if we want to make our own wishes come true today, and oh my god, I don't care. Okay. All right, well... In the next episode, we will go to Geosenge Town and Route 10 and go stop the ultimate weapon, but not probably before we catch a legendary Pokemon and fight Lysander a couple times. So, yeah, that's next time. Otherwise, hooray, Xerxen! Crushing it. Mm-hmm. Man, got through that whole base pretty easy. Maybe we'll have to use other Pokemon next time. I don't know. We certainly gave Thunderbolt to Xylia for some reason. Mm -hmm. Got to fight that Gyarados. Uh, anyway, I think next episode we probably are definitely going to catch the uh, Xerneas. So uh, make sure you leave a comment down below. And maybe you could be Xerneas. I don't know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like on the video. And otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye. Boom,
Yeah.